Carpe Canis when hunting up in North Texas. Was sitting in a field that had some rooting in it, waiting on hogs, when I spied this coyote coming in with my IR patrol. He's cruising right along. So I tried doing some lip squeaking, get him to stop. And with my Pulsar Trail XP38 laser range finding, I get a distance on him of 96 yards, definitely within my range. And he goes down with the shot. Optics provided by Third Coast Thermal. A little while later, another coyote comes in, and this guy's on the move. So I reposition the shooting stick so that I can rotate as he's traveling by me. And here I've sped up the video, let some of the time pass quicker. Get a range on him, 135 yards. Be my long shot so far with this scope. I figure I can do it. I increase the magnification on the picture and picture that you see above. And here he stops behind a clump of grass. Shot through the neck and he goes down. Distance looks to be about 145 yards. No hogs were there, but I moved on to another property and did see hogs out in the field. It's a bunch of hogs with a few cattle behind them in the distance. Their close hogs are 386 yards, too long for me to shoot, so I'm going to stalk on in. And as I'm coming in, the hogs are slowly moving off to the right. Got this big hog coming in off the hill. Looks like all the hogs probably came out of the trees off to the left. So at 188 yards, still a little further than I would like to shoot, although I'm losing some of the hogs to the pasture on the other side of the trees. Here I've moved up closer and still have a couple viable targets, including this big hog. Get a distance on it, and it's 153 yards. I can probably do that no problem. But then I spy this other hog coming in, and sure enough, it's a whole lot closer. So this is the hog that I'm going to shoot first. So get steadied up on the sticks. A little gust of wind comes in. Here we go. That hog goes down and the first hog that I ranged comes towards me. Drop it on the run. This one's still moving. It gets a quality assurance shot. And so another one for the second hog as well. I didn't follow hogs off in this direction as they ran because there's cattle in the background. I didn't want to be shooting in that direction. So go ahead and get distances on these, 117 yards and 135 yards. Scan around, look for any stragglers. I see three hogs here. Possible cow behind them and another cow off to the right. And there's a ridge line running through, as you can see here. So I can't be shooting over the ridge towards those hogs. I need to move up and getting closer. That's what I attempt to do here. And as I do so, the wind changes directions by 180 degrees, get a strong gust. It's blowing towards the hogs. Still not close enough to take a shot. I can't see what's behind them. So I check for other stragglers panning up the hill. About this time another gust of wind comes up and the first gust of wind gets my smell to the hogs and they've taken off running and there are no more hogs. I finished off the night with a 220 pound sow and a 210 pound sow. Carpe sus, my friends.